Pinch a two on one against White Hawk. How, your assessment on that one? No, oh, yeah, um, quite a, quite a tough first half for him, wasn't it? Um, you know, I thought again we had a lot of the ball, but struggled to break them down. I don't think we had a shot on target. Um, and yes, yeah, it's, it's like possession without any sort of purpose. And you know, I'm not I'm not a fan of that. Um, really, you know, it's a pointless waste of time. So yeah, we've got. A, find a way we tweak the shape at um, half time it seemed to give us a little bit more and a little bit more threat but I do think the the work we've done first half with the ball did tire them out a bit I thought they looked a little bit um, out on their legs the last 20 minutes so maybe that's our work we do with the ball first half um, but yeah no like full credit to the players today I think they sort of stuck together and come back and um, there were some real big performances from the bench uh, today and that's that's seen us through today the squad um, and it's so important to have that squad um, and yeah I think just when you have a cup, uh, cup game and it's, it's a local derby um, you just want to make sure you're in the hat for the next round so we're obviously delighted that we are. What do you think it was that turned it around for you in that second half? I noticed the change of shape, uh, Ricky and Joe seemed to switch positions a little bit. What, what's your take on, on why you found that second half a little bit more successful? No, yeah, just um, moving to like a free in possession with the ball um, and then there's a bit more space out wide. Um, you know, having the, the two players staying up a little bit higher as well and, and leaving the space um, for a midfield. It just seemed like we had a few more options. We could switch it, take it, get it, and we could work the ball in behind a little bit easier, um, which is like what you want to do. I think, um, you know, there's there's a couple of moves there where Cash flicks it over for Joe Felix and he squares it, and I think it's a couple of times that Jake's not quite get on the end of it for his hat trick. But, um, you know, that um, also adds to us as well to have a, have a player with the goal threat that, that Jake Robinson's got. Um, two starts and three goals I think now for him, um, whatever way you want to look at it, it's a, it's a good record and when you've got a player like that in your side then you're always going to be dangerous. That's what I was going to ask next, uh, Jake Robinson, two starts, two goals, about well, three goals now, how, how good is it to have him back and, and in the form he's in? No, yeah, I think it was important today to give him his 90 minutes, um, like I said to you, you just previously, the, the squad, it's an unbelievable squad, um, you know, uh, Juan Luque, Oli Pierce. Um, we also have Joe Rye um, and, and Zach today didn't even get on the pitch so you know, it just shows the, the level of, of quality that we got and you know that's got to be, it can be a hindrance, people can sulk and not be happy when they're not playing but you know all you can do is work hard in training and, and make sure you're in that style of lineup come next week and like I say it's a really big month now October. Um, Obviously, got the, the the draw to look forward to with national league clubs coming in. You're potentially 90 minutes away from you know a, a really glamour tie um, in the first round. So um, yeah, somehow we've we've got there. Not been our best football against East Bombara and Whitehall, but two tricky tests. You know, two local derbies, um, games that can go either way, and we've come through them. But um, yeah, all that's and done. Obviously, you know, I'm not. Um, deluded, there's, there's a lot of work for us to do, um, you know, we look open, we look vulnerable to long balls again still, um, but then second half and everything's going alright, we seem to defend a lot better, so we've got to find a way to um, not the whole team be so down and then so upbeat when we're trying to chase a goal and we've got to try and start games like it.